Hey everybody! So this is the second step out of the video series that we're going to be doing today. And one thing that I wanted to show y'all is that I actually drew half of this in dimension. You can see the little sides and the tops and the bottoms of the boxes. And it's going to end up looking similar to this whenever it's done. So let's get started on this part. And hopefully by me doing this, you can kind of see how things fit together. So the main thing to remember is when something is above your horizon line, like this box in particular, you're going to see the side of it and you're going to see the bottom of it right here. This box is on the horizon line so and it's off centered. So you're only going to see the side of it. You can't see the top and you can't see the bottom. Same thing with this one. This section right here, this is below your horizon line. So you will see the top right here. You're gonna see the side of this one and then you're gonna see the side of this and then the top of that. So that's the main thing. If you'll break this up into little pieces and imagine each section as, okay, this is my stair step. What do I do with this stair step? Let's look at the second stair step. What do I do with that? I think that will cause you to be not as confused than if you're just looking at this thing holistically wondering what in the world to do. So what I want to do with this is go ahead and get started with this little box. So that little box, we're going to end up lining this corner up to your vanishing point right here. And it is truly up to you as to um, how deep you want each box to be. As you go, you can hopefully see that I created some dotted lines here, just some dotted guidelines going to my vanishing point. I made the thickness of this here just a um, solid line. So this is the side of my box. I've got to have the bottom to the side of my box. So this little corner right here, I'm taking that corner to my vanishing point right here, okay? And so, because this line is vertical, I've got to make the line that ends the side of the box vertical, okay? Now, this box is looking a little strange because all you see is the front and the side. There needs to be a bottom because your eye level, you're here and you're looking up and you see there's a bottom to this box. So this corner right here, this corner would line up with the vanishing point there. You can just make little dotted lines. When you turn this in, um, just leave your guidelines. It'll be absolutely fine. Now, the way that you end this, this is a horizontal line. It's straight, therefore the back needs to be straight. So it's going to be at a right angle. So hold your ruler, um, line it up with the edge of your paper and you're going to create your straight line there. So you'll have your, your bottom right here and you're gonna have a little bit of a side right there just for y'all to, to see right there. Okay, all right. And so the next little part of this box or this box section here, you're going to have a side right here. This is the one that is on your horizon line right there, right? So, uh, so what you can do is you could take your corner right here and you'll line your corner up with your vanishing point. All right, and what you could decide to do is just make it as thick as where this box right here ended you can make just a straight line going down like that. So, just gonna hold my ruler straight, make my line right there. So, you've got two little stair steps together, right? Okay, so 
This one, this is below the horizon line, right? So you're going to have a, a side here and then you're going to have a top because imagine your eye is looking down on top of this box right here, right? And then your eye is looking and you see the side. So it's just peeking out right there. So this is kind of like that little part of the stair step when you, you might trip over that little corner <laughs> of a stair step. So don't forget your corners. Um, a lot of times when people draw stair steps, they forget that little part. So just make sure that you have that little corner before you draw your top. And this, you can just choose you know how long you want your side to be to your box and um, I've decided I want it that way and so the top it would just connect straight on from that so you'd have like an L from that so this line is straight so therefore this line back here to end this box at the very top would be straight so Line up your ruler with the edge of your paper. And you've got your straight line right there. Okay, so it looks a little odd because you've got a corner area right here that you've got to create to finish out that box. So this corner right here is going to line up with your vanishing point. So the main thing, if you get confused, you know, think about, okay, where is this box in relation to the vanishing point? You know that a box, especially if it's off center from your vanishing point, you're gonna see the top of it and you're gonna see a side to it, right? So you know you've gotta include, if there's a little corner, you've got to line that little corner up with that vanishing point right there. Okay. All right, so I'm reaching towards this little bottom part. So this little corner right here, it lines up with that vanishing point. I'm just making little dotted lines. And then you decide, you know, how thick you want this to be. It can be thicker here than it is here. This is rather thin. You got a foundation here to your structure and so it needs to be thick enough to hold this thing up, right? It's got to support it. All right. And this little part right here, you've got to have a side to this. And then this little section, this is below your horizon line. So you're going to have like a little bit showing right there. So I'll show you about that. So this little corner, you're gonna take that to, to your vanishing point. And then this right here, this little corner, you're lining that up with a vanishing point. You're gonna see a little bitty bottom or the side of a bottom of this. You can kind of see there's like a little, little something right there okay so this you're gonna take this little corner line it up with your vanishing point you can leave this as is or you can finish it out see how I made a vertical line right here to finish it out it could just continue on and kind of finish somewhere back there where you can't see it. Um, or like I said, you can make the vertical lines like I have right here. If you have an open space like this, I mean, you've got to have, you know, your lines to like finish things out. But if something has something that overlaps something else, you could just continue it on. It, it just really depends on what you want um, and what makes sense to you with your drawing. I will just for the sake of balancing things just because I did this that side like that I will just end it 
with a vertical line. I don't want to confuse you guys. Um, so if in doubt, just um, draw yourself a vertical line. So I think I got everything so far. Oh yeah, I think I left this little part out right here. That lines up to the vanishing point there. That lines up to that vanishing point. I'm gonna end it with a vertical line because this line is vertical. Okay. Then I'll do the same thing here. And I'll end that so these two lines line up with the vanishing point right there. So I think we're good to go on that. Um, hopefully that helps you out on your drawing. Um, just do the best you can. If you have any questions, just send me a message. Thanks, guys.